Okay, my brothers and sisters, it is May 27th, 2018, and I hope all of you are having a great weekend with your family and with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have a message from our sister, Julie Wedby, from IamCallingYouNow.blogspot.com. He who has ears to hear, hear me. Message received on May 24th, 2018. He who has ears to hear what my spirit is saying in these last hours, let him know and hear my truths. I am the Alpha and the Omega. He who was bruised for your iniquities and the chastisement of your peace was upon me. I have borne your grief and carried your sorrows, and for love's sake my body was crushed in death. My blood poured out for all who would believe, and death, my death won your victory, and forever abolished darkness from claiming you and all I have created. Wisdom belongs to all who seek her, but is given along the path of much resistance. This is completely unlike what the world teaches, that you are to take the path of least resistance, the easier and the more comfortable way. One who truly wishes to know me and walk intimately with me will know that as your journey progresses, the way becomes narrower still. I have taught you that while you are here, the refining process will make you very uncomfortable at times. The trials that I allow are meant to mold you and fashion you in my image, based upon your response each time I present a challenge to you. I am concerned most with your heart, your heart motives in all you say and do, and your heart's response to all that comes your way. If your responses do not line up with my will and you choose the wider path each time a trial is presented, you will simply repeat the process again and again until you choose my path and my will for your response in full surrender and obedience. Only when you die to self each and every time consistently until you have learned my ways will I move you deeper into maturity and intimacy with me. You will always have free will, but your choices will directly and profoundly affect your progress along your journey of intimacy with me. Remember, you are not placed here for a me experience, but rather sent here to reflect your Father. In order to know my heart for you and to receive my wise counsel, you must die to self daily. Those who call themselves my bride and my remnant recognize this, but all are loved equally and all are given the opportunity to make this choice daily. You can do nothing in your own strength, but so many still strive. Surrendering does not mean giving up. Surrendering means giving me full permission to allow anything I have purpose for you, for your further growth through refinement in order that you become my instruments of righteousness and my will and heart's desire. For you becomes your will and your heart's desire. It is giving me your absolute yes and amen so that your lives and the purpose I have for them are fulfilled and I receive all the glory. There are many who profess me but don't know their efforts and their prayers are in vain. If you cannot drink of the cup of suffering while you are here, having the faith to believe it is for your best interest and for my greater glory, then I cannot reveal the fullness of my heart to you and work in and through your lives to accomplish that which I purposed. True freedom can be found without comforts of this realm. I offer a peace and joy that supersedes anything you will ever find here. To experience this gift, however, you must be willing to forsake all. Many of you know this as your truth and have lost family, spouses, friends, employment, or dwelling places because you stand for me. As I have spoken in the past, for those seeking deeper union with me, I am removing unhealthy relationships and situations that are hindering your growth. For some of you, this separation is directly in front of you. There are so many layers to understanding what my word teaches about my bride, not having spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I am not saying here in this passage that you are sinless, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. What I am saying is that those garments that are cleansed and pressed, spotless and white, are those who have been washed clean and made righteous by my blood, the blood of the Lamb. These are they who want nothing of this world and choose not to accept even the smallest compromise offered by this world. They are those who refuse to live in willful sin. I know every heart individually, and I do not expect that you will ever, that you ever won't make a mistake. I simply ask that you trust me enough to give it all to me, and then see what I will do. My mercies are new each and every day, and your sins, when asked to be forgiven, will always be forgiven if your heart is sincere in repentance. The line is now being drawn, and if you wait to choose me wholeheartedly, 
Your eternal fate will be chosen by your refusal to determine who you give your allegiance to. Herein lies my wisdom. Let all who have ears to hear, hear me. Yahushua. Okay, my friends and family. I pray that as with every message, you would go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the throne room of Father God in heaven. Trust in no man and trust in no woman, but put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. Each day he is giving us challenges and he is leading us. And are we making the right choices? Even though we have free will, make sure that we we do what we can for our brethren out there. We do what we can for those that we see suffering. We do what we can for those that we see having a hard day to help uplift their spirits, to help them make it on the road, to help them feel that there are those out there who are showing the light of the Father in them. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over each and every one of you. And I pray his hedge of holy fire, hedge of protection from the throne room of Abba Father, around your places of work and worship, around your homes and around your children's schools and their babysitters, and around their summer camps or their summer schools or whatever it is that they will be doing this summer. I pray for all of your children to be covered by his precious holy blood. I pray for him to cover your vehicles, your homes, and your places of work. I pray for him to cover you all. Make sure that you are putting on the armor of God daily. He, he, when we put this on daily, it does not leave a way for the enemy to come through to us to attack us. I have so many stories of ever since I've been putting this armor on daily of things happening to me where I could have been hurt or I could have been in the wrong spot at the wrong time or something could have happened negatively to me and it did not because I was protected. I pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior, to our Abba Father who art in heaven. And I pray that he leads all here that are blessed with this, that he leads here by the Holy Spirit of God in Jesus Christ, most holy, holy, holy name. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Baruch Hashem Adonai, Baruch Hashem Adonai, Baruch Hashem Adonai. Amen and amen.